Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the uh, autoresponder setup. So it's like uh, a reusable autoresponder which you might use in any of your cases or whatever uh, setup you have within your Flexi account. So you can easily uh, reuse what I'm going to explain now and uh, adapt uh, this into your own case. So if you are new to this channel, this is the Flexi CRM channel and uh, you will find here uh, a lot of use cases about how to set it up and how to create different verticals, different scenarios. And uh, what's most important is that you will find here how to push your business into the next level using automation tool such as this CRM. So let's uh, get straight into the point. Uh, how I'm going to create the autoresponder, it's through a simple workflow and an email template. And in, uh, in my case, I'm going to show you how we are going to deal with the summer slowness uh, in the support because uh, we have a couple guys which are in vacation in the weekend and they uh, are not available like right away uh, in some uh, different uh, times of the day and uh, what i wanted to do is that if you are going to email support i'm going to send you an automatic email through this workflow explaining that uh, we are not available like right away because uh, we might be at the beach for example or whatever so it's just a basic example on how you can create an autoresponder and then you can implement the same thing into your own scenario into your own case so the uh, the email template looks like uh, let me show you. So here is the uh, email template. I have uh, named the summer slowness autoresponder and I am putting this subject. And this subject it's like uh, just uh, RE which is the short of the reply of and then the subject i'm getting it from the data enrichment we get from the listener from the uh, actually from the incoming email listener and i'm reusing the information from the enrichment to create a dynamic subject which will be the reply of your subject so if you are going to email support and you are going to put a subject there we are going to capture that subject and use into our own email template as a reply of subject which is pretty cool i think so the text it's pretty basic it's like hey uh, john happy weekend just wanted to let you know that we are going to be a bit slow this weekend because it's a summer period and part of our team it's at the beach they have their laptop machine with them but at this moment you created this case they could be in the pool or in the sea uh, so give them a couple minutes to respond thank you flexi team so this is basically a, a very simple uh, email you might put more information uh, into that it's it's up to you so i'm going to use uh, just this thing uh, for this example and then on the workflow side I have created this very basic workflow which uh, will start obviously with a listener and what are you listening at? It's an incoming email. This guy here. So this guy here you may, phone, uh, you may find it here on the watch for section here. So let me get, uh, let me get into it and uh, you can see what I'm configuring here. So basically you are listening to the support account and to the inbox 
folder and then you uh, so it doesn't matter for you if it's a ready mail or it's an already mail so any of them and then you are going to listen for new conversation only but you can also listen for your reply email only but it's not the case you want just the new emails and if you see on the documentation uh, you will see that we enrich the data here from this listener with this variable so we get the email subject the from name the from email the text and the HTML of the body of the email so as you see we have used uh, this data over here so this is uh, very useful I think because it makes a personal feeling or it makes sense to the uh, to your end client sending a very personalized email you might put more things or or more data into your email and then from the uh, from the incoming email listener you just put a check a conditional a conditional which will check the timing so this guy here so basically what you're checking is that if the email you are listening for it's coming on a weekend day and what we are checking here is the current day equal to Saturday or equal to Sunday so only on this case you will want to send this template and what we are doing here it's just a basic email sender we are sending through a specific uh, SMTP this template using this field all right and that's it the email will go into this workflow and you'll be able to uh, send back a reply for that email to the end uh, client of yours and then if you notice we have two uh, actions here two more actions about the cleaning because uh, as you might already know we don't process the same record more than once in the workflow and to be able to do so you just remove from the workflow so after sending the email we just add a change workflow action and we remove the record in this case the contact and uh, the reason why we are doing such thing is because we want that the autoresponder uh, might be sent more than once to the same contact because the contact might uh, contact us at the support email uh, for uh, from one weekend to another so we want that it's sent all the time the email during the weekend but in your case if you want you can remove these two actions and everything will be the same beside the fact that you are going to email just once your client okay guys hope this helps and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, you'll get notified for uh, all the videos we we publish have a nice weekend and see you next week